Hello, hello, and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved on Valgiro. We have a name suggestion for our bears. Uh, we have... Bearson, I think is how you say it. And I believe this is a name reference from uh, the Golden Compass, or if you live across the sea, the Northern Lights. And uh, the female is called Lyra. That one I know how to say. Uh, again, they're both characters from the same book, so... But yeah, we still have the uh, Dodicta name, who is... Uh, oh, and the Pterodon. But the Dodic over here still needs a name. The Pterodon still needs a name. And so do our two monkeys. So if you guys have name suggestions, please leave it in the comments. And with that, let's get on to today's episode. Alrighty. Today, we are going to prepare for the taming of a rock golem. Well, on this map, it's the chalk golem and the ice golem. Meaning, we need a paraceratherium. Also, um, Vaughn was nice enough to craft me a new rifle, which is way better than the one I was using. So, yeah. On top of that, uh, we've been working on making kibble. As you can see, we have a lot of white kibble. We found another dino egg. Uh, I also have a raptor egg because I was making some, some basic kibble. But for, um, paraceratheriums, they need the purple kibble. And we have tons of meat for kibble making. We need some prime meat. I think I gotta make a prime jerky for some other stuff. So off we go. And I think we gotta go to Redwoods. And just check the spawn map and uh Yeah, we gotta go to Redwoods. Whew. So I'm not fond of Paraceratheriums. They're slow, they drive like drunken bathtubs. I don't like them. But we need one, and we're gonna go get a rock golem. Oh, chalk and ice. And then after those two, I think the only unique dino left on this map is uh, the ice wyvern. Hold on, I need to fix Numbnuts' uh, targeting status. I'll, I'll put him on neutral for now. I think that means he'll still try to protect me if I get knocked off by Microraptors. We're about to find out. Are those monkeys? There's monkeys on this map? I mean, if I come across a good one, I guess I'll tame it. What do I need for a monkey? I'm going to have to ask Vaughn. He's uh, pretty good at looking this information up. Ow. Ghost, where are you? Ghost. Oh, you're eating a car now. All right. Ah, there's one. Level 50. I shall eat you. That way more spawn. Also, you give me prime meat, which I can cook and make into jerky. That's a colorful bird. Too bad it's low level. Ah, Carno! Ah, there's another one. It's fighting something. Oh, it's fighting a green monkey. I shall kill the little monkeys. Alright, what do we got for levels here? 140, that's not bad. What are you? 95. Alright, so let's eat the lower level one. Very carefully. Looks like I'm not going to have to worry about the monkeys for too much longer.
Alright, now... What level was this monkey? Uh, 90. I see 90, okay. So let's carefully eat the monkey. Okay. Now, it's gonna be tricky trying to tame him. He's already so injured. Headshots might kill him, so I might have to do body shots, but that's still gonna take like 25 darts. Uh, do I want to wait till he heals up or risk it? Oh great, he's being attacked by ants. I'd like to state for the record that taming in Redwoods sucks. Alright, so he's mad at me. Uh, let's, let's get rid of your aggro for a second here, buddy. What are you fighting now? Must have been an ant. I'm, I'm gonna try it. I think if I try to sit here and wait for him to heal up, he's just gonna get eaten by something. Hopefully he has just enough health. I'll try to give him a few headshots to really bring that decor up. But, uh, ant. Hold on here. Put one in you to keep your tapora going. Uh, kill the ant. I can't tell. Are you running away? No, you're not. Ooh, that, that's getting really red. Yep. I thought so. It was worth a try. I do need the chitin, though. That way we can make cementing paste for the, uh, cannon we need to put on this guy when we finally, uh, tame one. Maybe I should try to find a few beaver dams. Those things are loaded with, uh, cementing paste. Anything good around here? No, my platforming skills, they failed me. I think I'm getting close to where the uh, Broodmother naturally spawns on this map, so I'm gonna have to be careful of that. Woo, Solitaire. These micro raptors, jeez. This is a maze. Oh, hey, look, another one. 100. Maybe. I need to go back to base real quick, though. So I went back to base. I've done some running around. I emptied out, um, Ghost's inventory. And I picked up some kibble for, uh, just in case we come across a monkey. Uh, Vaughn was able to tell me what kind they take. And he's also flying around right now looking for a, a Parasaratherium. I'm not quite sure where he is. But we figured, you know, with two of us looking around, we'll probably come across a good one faster. Because it's going to have to be able to tank uh, Golem attacks. I want to put the ruins. It's dark down here. 
Anyway, with it is getting so dark, I'm, I'm gonna have to wait till morning to do anything because I'm not gonna be able to see here. So, and if I can't see, you guys can't see. Apparently, I can't get up there. Okay, let me go find some place safe, and I'll meet you guys in the morning. So, it's still dark as sin out, but uh, Vaughn did find a Parasair Ethereum, as you can see. We're attempting to tame it, but I can barely see a thing. So hopefully I can keep on it, and nothing attacks me. I do have my brightness and my gamma all the way up, but it's still just, it's so dark in Redwoods. Like, in between the trees, we got plenty of light to be able to see, you know, because my settings are all the way up. But in the trees, holy crap. Alright, I kill the bugs. We got the Parasir Ethereum down. I can't, I can't see anything to know if this is safe or not. Oh, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, what's going on? Uh, go get away from that guy. Alright, uh, he's taking damage. How much damage? Yikes. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need to pick some berries to try to heal this guy up. Let me get the kibble out of him. I'm gonna need a lot of berries. I'm gonna have to retry getting him. Hey, what's going on now over there? Pego. God, I hate those things. Stay right there. Don't move. We need to, uh, heal this guy up. Oh, they had to be in his inventory. Knock it off! Stop! What are you doing? Okay, another Pego. Gee. Thanks. What are you trying to eat? Let's see if we can try to find another one. Sorry about it being so freaking dark. Luckily, Vaughn did spot uh, a secondary Paris Air Ethereum, just in case. It's not a 145, but it is a 140. Hopefully, I can skirt between the trees and locate it. Ooh, that's, that's Broodmother spot. I, I don't want to go down there. spider webs. Definitely not wanting to go that way. Is that him right there? Yeah, it is. Okay. At least it's a little brighter in this area. Alright, let's leave you away from Broodmother. Is that a bat? Great. I'd like to state that I really really hate taming stuff in redwoods there is so much here that wants to eat me it's not even funny you know if it was just full of like bigfoots and little stuff like that man, even tarot birds i can handle tarot birds but you know you got all these ants and bats and predators jeez great spot to find stuff terrible spot to tame stuff Trying really hard to keep this guy alive. We've already lost two. I 
and Ghost is definitely taking a beating from these dudes. Just being walked on, not, not even the basic attack. His health is already about halfway by the looks of it. At least the sun's coming up so we can start to see a bit better. And this guy has gotten further away from Birdmother. So it's a win-win. Too bad they take so many darts. Alright, he's down. Do a quick look around. Yeah, I see a bug right there. Alright, let's carefully eat these so Ghost doesn't try to. That's a tarot bird. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Yep. Okay. The dip shouldn't be a problem. I don't think they can do damage anyway. Hyena Dons are a problem. Is that everything? Looks like everything. Will that thing attack my, my guy? Well, it's not attacking me, but just to make sure. Eat this. And we'll munch these. Oh, you want to play? I don't need you doing this right now. All right, I think we're in the clear. So we'll load them up with the kibble. I'll whistle you in passive mode just to make sure, but we'll load up with the kibble and the waiting game begins. I'm not too worried about his stats. I am so paranoid. There's been so much stuff around. So far he hasn't taken a hit, but oh there's been so much stuff around. Oh good, you're awake. Here, take a saddle. Now let's get you in a cryopod. What the hell was that? Is that your tail? Whatever, get in the pod. Alright, let's get him back to base. I do not want to stay in these woods. So I was running around, getting back to base. And I came across a monkey. Now, Vaughn says they're a passive team, so we'll see. I've never done this. Oh, he is. And, and as you can see, uh, Solitaire and Vaughn are actually with me right now. Now to chase this monkey around until, uh... Until it's ready to eat again, I guess. Whew. It's been, it's been a long, long day. The Parasy Ethereum hunting took way too long. I wonder if there's like an easy golem trap we can do. Also, for those who are watching, uh, please leave a comment down below for what you think we should name the Parasy Ethereum. It is male and, to what I've seen, mostly white. You know, just, just like with all our other teams, I'm letting you guys name the dinos. And obviously you're restricted to the rules of ARC. Because, you know, ARC's got that auto sensor and it won't let you do like curse words or anything like that. So. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So far, all the names we've uh, been getting lately have been very interesting, very unique. I like them.
Jeez, this monkey takes forever. Also, you probably noticed that there's a couple of pegos uh, saying they're being tamed under my, my tree there. They stole raw meat from me and knocked themselves out. Like, I've always known how to tame pegos by putting, like, narc or something in my last slot, because they'll always steal the last slot item. And then they'll steal it and they'll eat it and they'll knock themselves out. And it's like, haha, I can tame you now, but. I don't want a pego. I want a monkey. It's a level 145. It's a female. If I'm lucky and come across a male, that'd be awesome. And yes, Solitaire is riding on a Moss Chops. Solitaire likes dinos that gather things. So, uh, Moss Chops, Ankies, Dodex. She, she likes to do the gathering. Uh, Vaughn likes to make the weaponry. So, the, the trank guns, the swords, pickaxes, and stuff like that. And I mainly focus on taming and building. That's why when uh, Solitaire wanted a moth, I went and helped her get one. Uh, when Vaughn wanted a pterodactyl, I, I helped him out. And that was done off screen, obviously, but you know, it is back at base and he does use it. Hey, we got the monkey. Yay, monkey! Alright, let's get everybody back to base. Oh, this thing is so cool. I don't need a saddle. That's awesome. Just like a wolf. Also, we're gonna have to keep Solitaire safe. Um, that's our, our only sap collector. <laughs> uh... What ended up happening is uh, when Vaughn logged in earlier, well, he was in and then he logged out and it was just Solitaire. So Solitaire went off to go do their own thing and then Vaughn logged in they both teleported to me because of the tether. Uh, I'm on the Series X so with one person there's absolutely no tether. With two people it's like a 1800 meter tether or something like that. It's really weird. I'm not quite sure how it works. Alright, we're back. I've sorted out Ghost's inventory, I've moved Allie to the other side of the uh, pen, because technically speaking that is where the meat drop is, so he was kind of starving on this side. So I'll put the Paraceratherium where the Allie was. God, this thing drives like a drunken bathtub. For those of you who like riding huge dinos, please tell me how you guys handle their their turn radius. Alright, can I back this guy in? Not really. Jeez. Also, again, sorry, it's so dark. Uh, it took a little bit of getting back to base. Right, Ghost is set up to run long distances and, you know, fight stuff because he is bred. And the monkey did pretty well, but, you know, Moss Chops, you know, he, he's short-term gathering. He doesn't normally go far. And we did get everybody back safely. But yeah, here's the Paraceratherium. Please suggest a name in the comments below. Most liked name. You know, the name that gets the most likes on it. That's the one we'll go with. And over here is our monkey. Again, it's up to you guys to name it. Same as the Paraceratherium, you know, suggest a name for her. So we have a female monkey and a male Paraceratherium. Also, Little, little bonus thing, um, while we were putting everything away and, you know, trying to sort stuff out, these guys 
ended up finding a kangaroo, knocking it out, and started taming it. So, you know. Yeah. It, it, it was actually kind of funny. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe and like. Comment for names below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.